welcome, ladies. This is Marcia here with another episode of Lady Strong Fit Gas. And today I have member spotlight Alpha. Her and I, we're going to be talking about how a photo triggered her to use as motivation. So the big question is this. How were two women who didn't cheat and purchase a gym franchise model, how were they able to spread their mission and purpose by empowering and transforming hundreds of women's lives through fitness, nutrition, mindset, and accountability with a micro gym business model of women only? That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answer. We are Lady Strong Fitness. Alpha, how are you today? I'm doing well. Hello, ladies. <laughs> I'm excited to have you on the show today. Um, I honestly, I haven't gotten a chance to get to work with you. Like I have with some of our other members that's been inside the studio quite longer. I know you've been a member for a little over a year now. However, I want you to tell the women a little bit about yourself. Well, my name's Alpha. I am 27 years old. Um, I've been with Lady Strong Fitness for about a year and like some months. And honestly, that has been the longest I have ever worked out and kept like, you know, going to a gym, kept the membership and just, you know, keep on being motivated. And um, yeah, that's basically it. I'm there every single day. Try to be there every single day at 4 p.m. You can catch me in running coming from work, but I am there. <laughs> I love it. So I actually got a chance to see you last weekend do the Murph. And I believe it was with Christina Navarro, who's one of our OG yes. members. And I'll be honest with you. That was the first time I got a chance to witness an action. You were going hard. Like for those of you, Thank I want to kind of paint a portrait for our women, regardless if they're driving and listening, but it was our annual Murph. So that consists of like a mile run. It was like a hundred pull-ups, 200 push-ups, and 300 air squats. And you were just knocking it out, like cranking it. Like it, it was your job. So let's talk about that because when I read your bio, you were never really enthused about fitness. How did that change all of a sudden? What's the motivation? Mm -hmm. Please share. So yeah, a picture is all it took. A picture, my boyfriend actually surprised me with the trip to Miami, which I did not know. I was so mad because I was like, I am not fit, but I'm like, no, we have the trip, we're going and I, you know, I really didn't care much. I was like, I'm just going to go have a good time, enjoy my birthday, a weekend. And then, you know, I actually, since I started gaining weight, I wasn't really active taking any pictures. I would take pictures here and there, but I wouldn't like it because I wouldn't like how I would look. So I was like, okay, we're on a trip. I'm going to, you know, take some pictures because I want to make an album like for my birthday. I, you know, for Miami. So I took this picture and it was a day after my birthday and we were on the beach and the next day when I saw that picture, I was so triggered. I was like, this cannot be me. Yeah. Like, how did I get to this point? Like I was back then, like I was very like petite. I was slim, you know? So just seeing that, I mean like nothing wrong, like with, you know, being whatever size you are. But that's what triggered me. I was like, I can't believe I let myself be, you know, this this big. I was like, I've never been this big. So honestly, I did cry that day, like at the hotel. And I told my boyfriend, I'm like, you know, like, I can't believe this is me. And then he's always been super supportive. He's always been like, he's never told me like, you're fat. Like, you, you know, you need to lose weight. You need to like, you know, watch what you're eating. He's always been supportive of whatever I want to do. And he's always told me you're fine. Like, you know, this is how, you know, I know I met you like you were small, but this is fine. Like, I have no problem with you, you know, being who you are. So I was like, you know, so maybe that's what was the confidence too of me being like not doing anything for myself. Because he would just tell me like, you know, I basically love you how you are. And, you know, that's it. So that's all it took. So then um, that week when we came back I started going through Instagram I started you know trying to find gyms and like everything was either too far or I wasn't able to make it um, because of the time um, you know so I came across Lady Strong Fitness and then I was like okay like you know I'm gonna go ahead and try it I'm gonna go ahead and you know go in there get some workouts go on my own and like you know try to be motivated <clears throat> so I started going there and then, you know, I, I loved it. I did, I think it was the first three sessions. 
which was really good. The next day, don't get me wrong, my body was sore. Like, I was not able to go to the bathroom the next day. Like, my body was so sore. But I actually felt really good. And what I loved was that it was like an all woman gym. So the way that I was feeling like on my own, like I knew I wasn't going to be like, you know, judged by the way I looked or if I wasn't doing like, you know, lifting heavy or if I wasn't working out fast enough. But yeah, that's basically how I got into Lady Strong Fitness. It, all it took was one picture. I mean, like, I feel like I should have taken this picture a few months back. So I could have started to realize like, hey, girl, like, come on. You know, you need to go get stuff ready. For sure. Number one, by the way, thanks for sharing this story. Number one, your boyfriend is amazing to number one, with a trip. And number two, sounds super supportive. So I have a question about something that you said, that first workout that you had, you were super sore. For some people, that could be like a mental barrier where they're like, oh my God, I can't do this. I'm not going back. That's just too much. What was it for you that kept you going yeah basically it was that you know I the coaches like I think it was my first session was with coach Paula and she just kept on pushing like not just me because I was like you know new but like everybody she was motivating everyone and I always have this you know it's not a quote it's not a phrase although to me it's a phrase but it's just like if you know uh women that are older or like different size than me can do it I can do it so you know so that's what I always go on off based off everything like if someone that is older than me um you know bigger size smaller size younger they can do it and they're putting the effort to do it like what is stopping you to do it so that's what kept you know kept on me like kept myself going to to the gym and just coming back and I knew that the workouts that um that we were doing that day I think it was a cardio day too so that's that sucked (laughs) so I knew like you know uh, the workouts that we were doing um I really liked the scheme I liked how um I liked how um it was uh, more than a 30 minute session for like the workouts um because long story short I used to do another gym here in Schaumburg but that was just a 30 minute session which was like warm up um what is uh, stretching and yeah and just doing like you know the base uh your your workout so it was all in 30 minutes so I was like okay I was getting I was really getting like you know some type of workout but I wasn't going home tired like I was I still kind of had energy like I was like okay like I worked out my 30 minutes and that's it rather than like you know when I went to Lady Strong Fitness it was just like okay like I am tired like I feel like I got my calories in like I am tired. I put in all the work and I was like, you know what? Like this is the gym that's going to make me like lose weight. Like oh this God. is a gym that's going to make me motivate myself to do other things. And it actually has, it, it has changed oh so much God. the way I think. So that leads me to my next question. Cause in your bio, you said you pretty much lost about half the weight that you had put on in my, when you were in your Miami phase. Uh, let's talk yeah. about scaled victories and non-scaled victories. What does that look like for you nowadays? since joining so yeah so it's basically like just looking at myself way different like I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like like I like my face I can tell right away that my face is like you know I'm losing weight so that's one of the biggest things but yes like I just lost half of the weight already that I had gained even like starting my relationship like I didn't gain my you know weight starting like from the beginning but over time I did and like I said, I was never this big, but like one of like, you know, biggest accomplishments is like, I am seeing results. I am seeing that I am fitting back into like old clothes. Yeah. Like I am not purchasing new clothes because that's what I was doing at one point. I was just buying, you know, bigger clothes to make myself feel more comfortable, sure. like because it was so tight. So I was like, you know, like fitting back into my old clothes. Um, I used to share clothes with my my older sister and she's, you know, older. And now she, um she's older now so we used to share clothes back then and then I used to go to her house and it's like I couldn't share the same clothes as her so now I go back to her house and I'm like okay like you know I'm staying the weekend like you got clothes for me so you know so those are like little things that make Uh, me like happy like you know I like that I really do so I like to end each episode by asking a question if you had any advice that you can give for either a non-member who is maybe on the fence about joining or a member who's maybe kind of stuck in a rut, maybe in a plateau that's getting discouraged and feel like giving up, what would your advice be for those two people? 
definitely put your heart and soul into what you want to do because it's never too late. Um, you know, like I like I just said, if someone else can do it, older, younger, bigger, smaller can do it, you can do it too. And definitely, you know, look for that comfort zone, like that comfort gym that you actually do feel that you're going to, you know, get results, be comfortable, like just going in the environment, especially the vibes, like, you know, like definitely look for that comfort zone and do it. Like it's never too late to start. It's, you know, just go out there, reach your goals because, you know, I'm here a year later and I actually am happy, like, you know, that I started, you know, going to the gym. And like I said, this is the longest I have kept the membership. And, you know, sometimes we say like, oh, I don't have time, but we do. Like, like I said, this is a routine to me. Like I go to work and then I know getting out of work, I'm going to go work out. And that kind of like, you know, motivates me. It's like, I like going, you know. I like just talking with people, hanging out at like, you know, in the front at the gym. So it's definitely like look for your routine and look for something that you're going to go ahead and feel comfortable doing. So like I said, it's never too late to start. I like that. I like how you said it's like a routine, like work. It's like you don't miss it and yes. make time for what's important. So thank you for that's really good advice there. So I'm I'm just curious, totally sidebar. Are you taking class later on today? I am. I believe so. Right now I am on the list. Um, I do. I am on the fence because I have to, uh, I might have to pick up my knees, but I know it's a strength day. So I am really pushing my sister to go ahead and pick her up, but I really do want to go ahead and, you know, stop by. I don't know if you know this or not. I I will be teaching class. So if you can make it. Uh, (laughs) Okay. Sounds good. Definitely going to go ahead and push that. (laughs) So honestly, Alpha, thank you so much for coming on the episode today. And ladies, thank you for tuning in of another episode of the Lady Strong Fit Cast. Have an amazing day. And we'll catch you on the next episode. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us today. If you like this episode, subscribe to our YouTube channel or find our podcast on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, or whatever your favorite place is to listen to podcasts. And if you really liked this episode, please leave a review for us on iTunes. Thanks, and we'll see you next week.